From the Wabash Valley Chevy Dealers Sports Desk, here's Sports Director Grant Pugh. Welcome back, everyone. Special day for us. We get set for one of the best tournaments every year. The 23rd annual First Financial Wabash Valley Classic Lunching and Draw happening this Tuesday. We'll take you to the Vigo County Historical Museum in Wabash to go along with a new exhibit they have on the history of basketball in Terre Haute. IHSA Commissioner Paul Nidig, the guest speaker today, as he draws the ping pong balls and we roll out the bracket. Game number one. Don't have to wait. It's Linton and Park Heritage, one of the favorites. The Miners squaring off with the Wolves, 10 a.m. on December 26th. Game 2, 11.30 on day one. Marshall and West Vigo as we start this bracket. I kind of grew up with Rich. We both lived in Bloomfield, so uh, it should be fun. You know, they, they've got a lot of young talent. Uh, we kind of went through that a few years ago, so, you know, we've, we've actually played some to get, you know, against them with them, and, you know, we know they're pretty good. It's a good matchup. It's going to be great for our young guys to uh, get a play against a quality team like that. You know, obviously they're one of the best teams in the field. You know, always a good time matching up with those guys. You know, they play extremely hard, always uh, well coached and prepared, and it's always a, you know, fun exciting game with uh, West Vigo. Um, we've had some really great battles with them over the years, so we're kind of expecting it to be another really good game in this tournament, so it'll be really exciting for us. And we've played them in this tournament several times, too, as well, so it'll be interesting. Bottom part of the top half of the bracket shakes out like this. Greencastle Northview scoring off in game number three, followed by Casey Westfield and Sullivan in game number four. WIC matchup to, to start to start the tournament and um, that makes it fun. Uh, you get two teams that know each other pretty well. Oh, they're well coached. They play hard and they've got some young, talented kids. So I mean, we're going to have our hands full. We know that, but I mean, we're just excited about being able to participate in the classic. Our guys are excited. We like coming over here playing ball. It's uh, it's it's just a, it's a it's, it's a time that all of our kids really look up for. Well, I'm just glad to be here. I'm glad that they let us in this. Uh, we know nothing about them. I'm sure they don't know anything about us yet. But we'll know everything we need to know by the time we get ready to play them. Here's the bottom part of the bracket. Starts like this Edgewood, Terre Haute South in game number five on day one, followed by the host and last year's winner, Terre Haute North, matching up against Robinson. That's one of the best matchups on day number one. The first day, let's check in with these coaches. Great, you know, four great days of basketball. Certainly, uh, you know, we got a tough matchup in Edgewood. Um, you know, guard heavy, shoot the ball very well. Seen them play about a week ago, so uh, it's going to be a tough challenge for us. Uh, but we're looking forward to the to the matchup. Yeah, that's the most important thing to play four games in four days. And while we have some guys back, their roles and responsibilities have changed from a year ago. So they'll need to adapt to that pressure. And as the quicker that we're able to do that, hopefully we'll be playing well in this tournament. You know, if you want to want to win the thing, you got to be the best teams anyway. So you might as well make it. Day one, um, you know, give us a chance to set the tone for the week, and yeah, I, I think we match up pretty, uh, pretty comparably to them. You know, they're long and lanky. We're pretty long and lanky and pretty athletic, so you know, it should be a pretty good game on day one. Last but certainly not least, here's the final couple of matchups: Shackamack and Cloverdale, game number seven on day one, followed by a nightcap of Bloomfield and South Remain as we get set to play basketball on December 26th. It's nice not to get one of the big 4A schools right out of the gate, but um, you know, every every school in this tournament, you know, they're well coached, they play hard, so everybody, you know, presents a different challenge. So we definitely will be prepared for that then. But we're so young right now. I mean, we are 0 and 2 in the moment. We've got a lot of preparation to do to get to them, but it's exciting. I mean, you know, it's kind of interesting playing the same team we played last year. So uh, you can't control the draw, so you just take what you get and make the most of it. Well, the good thing about this tournament, it kind of goes back to the old tradition: no class basketball. You know, go out, you know, put on a show for the fans in the Wabash Valley. So the opportunity to play Bloomfield, you know, well-coached, really athletic team. Super excited for the opportunity.